Industrialization plays a crucial role in the global economy. It generates jobs, stimulates trade, and simplifies human life. We want everything ready. And, as if by magic, the industry transforms raw materials into essential consumer goods for modern reality. To ensure our safety and that of the environment, these products undergo rigorous safety and quality control tests. In January 2024, the renowned thermal cup brand Stanley reignited this controversial debate, capturing the attention of the international community. This happened after home tests conducted by ordinary users indicated a dangerous lead trace in the material. How true is this? Who is responsible for the safety of goods? What are the guidelines and chemical control requirements for products? Earth echoes through this intricate universe of industrial productions, from the tests of regulatory agencies to the shelves of markets. The popular brand Stanley carries a solid history of over 100 years producing cups, mugs, and thermal bottles distributed worldwide. In 1913, the inventor of the renowned material, William Stanley Jr., created the innovative welding process for thermal utensils made of stainless steel. Until then, products available in the market were fragile and essentially made of glass. Quickly, the new options from the family-owned company gained fame, primarily for their nearly indestructible nature. According to the brand, the products come with a lifetime warranty, designed to last and withstand the most adverse conditions. The curious technology that keeps drinks hot or cold in the cups for hours is purely physical. The products are constructed through a double wall coating technique with a vacuum between the layers. This vacuum is responsible for preventing the exchange of temperature between the beverage and the external side of the cup. In this type of product, the main material used by the food and household utensil industry is 18 to 8 steel. It is a variety of stainless steel consisting of 18% chromium and 8% nickel in its chemical composition. This type of material prevents cups and mugs from transferring the smell and taste of metal to beverages and foods. However, all this technology was recently put to the test after the famous thermal cups went viral on the internet in a negative light. Various users conducted home tests and detected the presence of heavy metals such as lead in Stanley products. Accusations spread worldwide, causing concern among consumers. How true is this and could it harm human health? In a statement, the manufacturer admitted the presence of lead in its composition. The substance is used to seal the base of the cup. However, the company asserts that the metal is internally protected by a strong steel coating, preventing direct contact with the metal. Once sealed, this area is covered by a non-removable layer of steel, making it inaccessible to consumers. According to Stanley, there is no trace of lead on the cup's surface that could contaminate the customer or the consumed food. In rare instances of base leakage, the manufacturer further guarantees that the lead will remain isolated by the material. The brand emphasizes that all Stanley products meet all regulatory requirements in the United States and Europe. Global product compliance is tested and validated through laboratories accredited to the United States Regulatory Agency, the FDA. The products adhere to rigorous guidelines, including regulatory requirements for BPA, BPS, PFOS, and perthalates. But what do these acronyms actually mean? BPA, also known as bisphenol A, is a chemical compound that serves as a raw material for the production of various types of plastics. It is everywhere and can be easily found in Tupperware, household appliances, plastic bottles, and canned goods. The problem is that when this substance is exposed to high temperatures, it can escape and be absorbed by humans. Heating food inside these containers in a microwave, for example, can contaminate the food and pose serious health risks. Moreover, studies indicate that over 90% of citizens in the Western world have this substance in their blood. In the body, it is mistaken for the estrogen hormone, mainly interfering with the endocrine system's functioning. It is suspected of causing irreversible changes in the hormonal and nervous systems, promoting disorders, brain damage, and infertility. For this reason, these substances are known by health professionals as endocrine disruptors. Campaigns worldwide call for the eradication of the compound in baby bottles, pet bottles, coffee cups, and receipts. On the other hand, phthalates are a group of synthetic substances capable of making plastics rigid to flexible. 
One of the most common examples is PVC plastic film, very used for packaging food. In cosmetics, they are responsible for fixing the color of nail polishes, as well as ensuring the long-lasting nature of perfumes. In addition to moisturizers, sprays, and soaps, they can also be found in plastic cups and toys. The International Agency for Research on Cancer classifies these compounds as possibly carcinogenic to humans. In Europe, their use is prohibited in cosmetics, and they are considered extremely toxic to the reproductive system. In countries that allow their use, regulatory agencies limit their concentration to up to 1%. As children are more sensitive, additional rules do not allow the presence of more than 0.1% in children's articles. Preliminary results from FDA studies show some concerns about the use of these chemical compounds. However, the U.S. National Toxicology Program sees no need to ban these substances in the industry. In packaging, they are rarely listed by the name phthalate, but can be recognized by the acronyms DBP, DMP, and DEP. To reduce contact with these compounds, consumers can choose glass, bamboo, and stainless steel containers. The truth is that these synthetic substances are so ingrained in our routine that they go unnoticed by consumers. This highlights the importance of knowing the origin of products and understanding what we bring into our homes. Meanwhile, scientists are working on developing alternatives for the use of these chemical compounds. Company lobbying, however, holds significant political weight, hindering the progress of research and the implementation of new regulatory rules. Despite the disparity in values, consumers can find BPA-free products on the market. In plastics, recycling markings 3 and 7 also indicate the presence of BPA and can be avoided. Uh, to eliminate risks, plastic containers should not go in the dishwasher and cannot be boiled or heated in the microwave. Doctors also recommend reducing the consumption of canned goods, as bisphenol is used as epoxy resin in the lining of cans. Options such as glass, porcelain, and stainless steel are the most recommended for storing beverages and food. In this regard, Stanley's thermal cups present themselves as a safer choice in the industry. Despite the lead isolation, the company states that it is exploring the use of other metals in manufacturing its products. Lead is a natural chemical element, but is extremely toxic to humans, even in small doses. Before science discovered the danger of the substanza, it was widely used as the base for various utensils such as cutlery. Today, traces of the metal can still be detected in jewelry, recycled batteries, paints, electronic waste, and some types of plastic. A World Bank study indicates that lead poisoning annually kills about 5.5 million adults aged 25 or older. This underscores the importance of regulatory agencies, responsible for conducting frequent tests on consumer goods. Imagine a world without this regulatory control. Who would ensure the safety of consumers? This rigorous system is responsible for driving the elimination of toxic materials in the industry. Despite flaws, many notable advancements have been achieved through the collaboration of these companies with the government. Scientists participate in this mission through research and studies ensuring the balance of the environment and humans. Concepts about natural and chemical compounds are often perceived as opposing ideas in society. While natural is seen as healthy, chemical is assimilated as something dangerous. The truth is that everything in life involves chemistry. All substances found in nature are formed by chemical molecules. By understanding the complexity and challenges of industrial production, we are empowered to make conscious choices. The industry is vital and should not be seen as an enemy. Supporting responsible brands in turn can set a new rhythm based on this commitment. Earth echoes through the fascinating transformation of chemical compounds. Their power sustains life and should be amplified with responsibility. If you enjoyed this content, leave your comment. Don't forget to like and share the information to debunk fake news. See you in the next Chemical Bond.